Hopefully I got you up high enough. I hope. Probably not. Probably gonna have to lift you up a little higher. Thought I was all ready. Guess I wasn't. Hold on, guys. We're gonna raise you up. Because I think when I hold stuff, ooh, can you set right? Let's see if that's better. Ah, now I think we're eye to eye. All right, uh, my order did come in from Sheen, the one that I was so concerned about, my household order that had set in Los Angeles since the 19th. Uh, it came today, earlier, of course, it's almost bedtime. But at any rate, um, <coughs> I am wearing my uh, bed jacket. And I discovered that when I went back and looked at the picture because I thought I was doing something wrong, the ties are not supposed to be closely tied. They're supposed to be um, tied with a gap, a gap in uh, through here on the ties. So I was wondering why. It's like, does it seem right? So I had, and along with that per, uh, lavender, I think it was lavender. I can't remember, it was the chiffon dress. And I thought something looked wonky with it. Then when I we went to put everything away, I discovered there was a belt for it in the bag that I didn't see when I took it out. And it's supposed to come, so I'm not going to have to hem it. Yay! Um, and then you pull because the um, chiffon is supposed to go drape over the belt. So, it's like, cool. Now this is some household stuff that I wanted to check out their household wares and kind of see you know how they are and I wanted to do minor vamping around the house so we're gonna get started with this uh, I got a couple things that's not household I did get this little rose gold because I don't believe I had a rose gold nose earring or no nose ring and it was a dollar so it's just a little rose gold nose ring and then there was one other thing that is not where is it ah this this is um a face mask come on please <coughs> um dollars and I wanted a zebra style one because I had gotten a zebra style um, <coughs> one of the uh, Leonard's I guess type of thing to hold your mask on if you want or let it hang down so I got the uh, zebra they had a zebra one, has those. And this is a nicer quality than that fancy one I got for the Victorian. This is pretty thick, actually. Actually, this is a lot thicker than I think most any. I, I think this is probably the thickest one I got. This is very thick. Um, and very soft. Very, very thick. So, uh because of what the zebra one now I have to do is find I want to find a cheetah um, you know so I have my animal prints in okay now we'll start with household stuff I got uh, this piece and it is the uh, spoon and lid rest it was six dollars and we'll see um, I did open the bag and look through things. It seems to, I got it in a, a, a mint green, although I do want to paint my kitchen yellow. 
in time, but this was the closest I could get with what I would like in a color, since it didn't have yellow. But it's, we'll see. To me, it seems very cheap um, and lightweight. I think too lightweight to hold a lid because I'm noticing now with my new pan set and the last pan set, I had no lids. And then I'm looking for a place to tilt my pan lid. And uh, I wasn't... Uh, this just seems like the lid is just going to pull this thing down. I don't know. I'm not... Um, and especially for six bucks. Uh, we'll see. You know, they just kind of push them. I think they should have went heavier on this plastic because it's not uh, whoops well dang come on I put one in and all the others pop up what the hell this ain't gonna fly this may not work at all I may have to oh there I got it thank god because I hate sending anything back it's almost impossible for me to get a ride that's why a lot of times I'll just send it off if it's clothing to you know, might try and send it off to a family member or donate it to the Goodwill. I oh, know, it sucks. Well, anyway, your lid's supposed to set on the smaller part. And then you have double spoon rest up here. Now, I'm going to hang on to my old spoon rest. I do like it, but it won't hold a lid. I'm going to try it, and I'm going to see. You know, if I flop a lid on here and this bad baby goes spilling over, it's gone to the garbage. And that's all there is to it. Six bucks or not. Uh, <coughs> sorry. My cough always worsens at night. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see about this. Um, I will probably come back and let you guys know on this one. Um... If this is nothing but a ripoff, or if it actually does work, so I'll probably do a little a review on this one. Um, I'll try it out for a bit, see if it makes me happy. We'll see. I'm not sure on this one. It was six bucks. Okay, I got this. Uh. Toilet seat cover for five bucks. <sighs> there, play with that bag for a little bit. Mommy throws it in recycling. Because I hate sitting on a cola toilet cold toilet seat that makes you want to jump the hell off of it as soon as you sit on it. It's like, and I be four and sixty in a couple of months. Sixty-four. You can't figure that out. If there's one thing I don't have time for is to be jacking. You know, it's like, I gotta go, I gotta go like yesterday. <laughs> so at any rate, how are you supposed to get this on there? Oh, I see. Okay. Now this feels a little better. This is kind of like a plastic. And this is almost like a cord worry. It is soft. And it has an open... No, there's no opening. I don't know what that's there for. But it has a zipper. And you unzip it. And... Oh, okay, this must go under the bottom of the toilet seat, this on top, and then you zip it up, I'm guessing. Pretty sure that's how that is. And it's kind of cute. Um, this is kind of a gray. I think I picked a gray. It has a fish and a, a kitty cat here, and which you could use its tail as a lifter if you wanted. Um... And I thought that was cute. I might get another one because I want to have about two or three. So when one's in the wars, is one ready to go, and then we just got to back up. So I at least want two. 
Um, cause you know, with males going to be in the house, it's like, yeah, you need to, uh, you need that. Cause, um, I do not, I do not. And that ain't nothing being sexist or anything. I think we all know, um, things get pissy. Okay. Let's be blunt. Let's be real. So at any rate, I think I like it. I do. So I might order, get me another one of these in. Uh, I don't know if they have this still available, but they have others, you know. So I think I'm going to be happy. The quality seems good. And uh, it just all depends on how it fits on that toilet seat. But that will be a lot warmer than sitting in what you see. Don't you put a heater in there? I can't. Because we put a heater in there, it starts breaking all the breakers. And I'm continually, and I need to heat more in there, here, and in there. So, uh, we can't have one. Normally, I do have one, but with that extra heater going in there now, makes it so I can't have one in the bathroom. So, that put a kibosh to that. I'm happy with that piece. Oh, I didn't set my timer. I forgot. So hopefully we'd be all right, guys. I got this little tablecloth for six dollars, and I do have to start learning to check my descriptions because, well, is it, it felt plastic to me. Is it? It's plastic. Which is okay. I don't mind having some plastic. But I'm having a feeling like oilcloth. Those heavy, rugged things that you can work to death. You know, old-fashioned oilcloth. This is just, um, yeah. This is that. <coughs> I'm not happy with this. This is that cheap-ass plastic. A step above that disposable crap that you put on party tables you know it will do and I guess with a four-year-old gonna be coming in the house uh, Battenberg lace you know which is my thing and lovely jacquard and linen to yes I'm a snob okay <laughs> not really but I do have champagne taste high fry champagne taste on a cheap beer budget <laughs> But I do my best, but I wouldn't also want a child. <coughs> this is halfway. My table's not that large. So this will work fine. It's going to be kind of an ideal. So this will be nice uh, for when he's here. I can throw this over the table, and it's a plastic, so I can wipe it off real quick. And it probably will stain, because I do a lot of Italian cooking. And I'm not Italian. I just love pasta. And obviously, it loves me. <laughs> but at any rate, um, yeah, um, I guess it'll serve its purpose. But would I rebuy this? Absolutely not. Not with it being as thin a plastic as it is. I mean, it's not even a good um, plastic like the cheap um you know, some of those cheap plastic tablecloths that you can get has little sewing ridging around it. This is cheaper. Okay, so that ha they have kind of a felt back. back. This is cheaper than that. So, um, but it's higher than those throwaway party tablecloths. So, no, this was not worth getting. Okay, I'll use it and it won't last long, but I'll use it, and when it's wore out, I know better to look to make sure it's fabric. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, so, so far, am I impressed with their home goods? No, not at all. My standards are way too high for, um, for that. I'm sorry. I mean, I like eating off of sterling silver silverware. My everyday dishes is Nortecki China, and that's a downgrade, you know. Um, I wish I had all bone China. I do have a cup and saucer, though. Thanks. Thank you. 
Um, and yeah, I'm just like that. And I'm poor. I live in the hood. And, but I just got that taste. Anyway, these should be two wine stoppers. This one's heavier. Although I looked, I think they're all plastic. They're not crystal. You know, which all oh, my barware, every bit of it's crystal. But we got it. Um, this was four dollars. It's just now I can I can get by with the little lesser expensive clothes, and some of those fancy dresses are very nice. You know, very nice. I'm not bitching about those. But I have funny when it comes to my home. Um, especially now that I've gotten older. Um, that's just the way I am, and I can't help it, you know. So, it is very weighty, but it did say plastic. It's the crystal ball wine stopper, but it looks nice. Um... They said it was plastic, though, but it's very heavy. I would have thought maybe cut glass with the weight that it has. So I'm kind of confused on that. I would say this is more the weight of a cut glass than a plastic, but it is pretty. So this will pass. This this, this will do for on a budget cheap. Although I would prefer crystal. So this will be the first thing I'm putting on the bar that's not crystal, but I thought I'd check them out and see. We have one last piece. This one was $5 for this one here. There you go. All kinds of shit to play with. Comes in a nicely boxed if you wanted to give it as a gift. You guys have all kinds of fun with that. Now this isn't even friggin' set on here, right? Well, that's bullshit. It's off to the side. See? It should be centered. I might get rid of this. This just isn't good enough to pass. Yeah, it's glued. It's glued off to the side. <coughs> I don't think it was meant to be like that because the one I've seen in the picture looked like it was dead center. And this has looked like it's supposed to be dead center. This isn't going to work. I'll repackage it up. Maybe somebody from buy it a good one, give it as a little gift. Not as snooty as I am about stuff like this. Yeah, if it would have been dead center... So I'm saying so far my experience with housewares, home goods, whatever, stuff from Sheen. Two thumbs down. Can't help it. I just, I just can't. Um, and I have another order that has some homewares in it. And uh, I mean, I'll, I'll use, that I won't put on my bar. You can see that's totally defective. Um, yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed whatsoever. Um, the toilet seat cover is about the most impressed I really am. So, it's like, unfortunately, I was hoping I found nicer things at Dollar Tree. Let's face it. So, um, that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had good luck with home stuff from Sheen, you know? Because uh, I just don't want to constantly get clothes. Um, but so far, no, I'm definitely not impressed. But my, my standards may be most likely and are more higher. All right, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Blessings.